name is Kerry, and I want to share with something new, something special that my family, friends, and I've been working on since uh, for several years now. And that project is the Ultimate Wally, which you can see here. Um, the reason we wanted to uh, build this Wally and show you this now is because this actually works. Well, after two years of testing, observing, and growing in it, we want to share you with the information that we've discovered on how to build one so you can build one for yourself because this Wally really works. First, I want to share with you the first five goals that we wanted to accomplish in 2015 as we set on to build this project. Goal number one, to be able to grow organic, nutritious food with no chemical sprays or fertilizer. Goal number two, we wanted to have no power consumption. Why no power? Well, most greenhouses and geothermal greenhouses are totally dependent and reliant on energy, electricity, to produce the fans, to pump the air, and to cool them in the summertime. Could we do this? Yes, we did. Goal number three, we wanted to be able to go all winter and summer without having any alternative heating or electric cooling devices within inside the greenhouse. We were able to do this. Goal number four we wanted to accomplish was good air exchange and movement through both winter and summer for the wallapini. And goal number five, we wanted to be able to grow a wallapini that wasn't just for cold crops, but was able to build, grow tomatoes, peppers, zucchini, cucumbers, and all those other wonderful vegetables that we all enjoy that we can't in the wintertime. So let me take you down and show you some of the things that we've harvested this year in the Wally. Thank you. Good morning, friends. How you doing? This is uh, January 26, 2018. I wanted today, after we harvested in our Wally today, I wanted to show you what we are getting. Um, we've been at this project for two years. We've been uh, taking notes on the temperatures that uh, we've been able to sustain in growing our wally. Our pepper plants are two years old, our tomato plants are two years old, and we have all sorts of zucchinis and everything. So I want to show you some of the produce that we're harvesting in January. Let's take a look. Today we harvested this beautiful zucchini. How would you like to eat that fresh zucchini on your table today? If you got a wally, you can. We've got this eggplant. If you love eggplant, beautiful, wonderful stuff. I wanted to show you some of the beets that we've been harvesting. Uh, we got some beet greens, if you love beet greens, and then the beets. You see that beet? Beautiful, wonderful produce coming out today. We've got our tomatoes. How would you love to have a fresh tomato? January. Wonderful. We've got some great peppers coming up that we've been growing. Look at that. Beautiful peppers, fresh, organic, non-fertilized, non, uh, but organic. That's how we grow in this Wally. We've got those. We've got Anaheim. We've got some poblanos growing. All beautiful, ready to eat. We also have been harvesting dill. Some wonderful dill. I hope you enjoy dill because you can put down all sorts of fresh herbs. And then also we have our Swiss chard over here. Um, this is just some of the things we've got growing. We've got carrots. Um, we've got spinach. And we've got lettuce. And so many different things. Um, the wally that I want to show you is 25 foot wide, 100 feet long. Now obviously you don't need to do it that long, but the way we've created it and done, we've taken notes from different people's stuff, and we've generated this one, and it works. Um, the coldest temperature that we've received this year has been 5 degrees, and we were 40 degrees inside. No artificial heat. I can sleep at night. How would you like to feel you built your wally that you can go to bed, rest, sleep, uh, just sleep well? All through the night not have a problem when it's five degrees outside well if you build one like this you can do that and I want to show you in these future videos I want to show you how you can do that be successful don't waste your money on other things put it where you can last and have it for years to come so hopefully I can look forward to hearing from you guys and, and watching my videos have a great one take care